Well, I would say wine was always in the plan when it came to consuming wine. Uh, but I never imagined being in the wine business or, you know, making wine for a living. I would say until my uncle got sick and I knew he was probably not going to make it. And the immediacy of that made me start thinking about, you know, my own mortality and what I wanted to do. And did I really want to do things just to make money or did I want to do something I loved? Growing grapes and making wine is something that my dad's family has done as far back as anyone knows. My dad's family is 100% Assyrian, and they immigrated to the U.S. in the early 1900s from the Middle East. So my uncle bought a vineyard because he wanted to keep the tradition going. And he bought Oakville Ranch without really knowing anything about vineyards or wine. From right around that first four or five months that I started working with Dave, it became obvious that we were on the same page as far as making wines that people were excited about. Dave wanted to make his own wine with his name on it. I told him I could do that. So I came over anonymously on a Saturday just to the tasting room um, to try through all the wines. And I came out of there going, I want to learn how to make these wines. I want to work with this fruit because it struck me how many different regions, grape growing regions, that mine are made fruit from. Try to keep it simple. Try to just get people to enjoy what's in their glass, what's right in front of them, without worrying about a lot of the hyperbole that goes on with it. We're able to capture benchmark vineyards, benchmark AVAs throughout California and really kind of explain why those areas are so well known and why they shine. That to me is the most important thing that we can do, is become a part of people's lives and, and give them great memories and, and about, uh, that are joyous or that make it easier to be a human being on this planet. There's nothing pretentious about wine, even though people try to make it that. It's, it's just fermented grape juice that a bunch of people stumbled across thousands of years ago and it made them feel good. And that's all it is. You know, there's no secret knowledge. If you like it and you drink it and you have a great time, that's the only thing that matters, really.